We turn to the stunning images just coming in tonight. The world's largest active volcano in Hawaii roaring back to life and the urgent warnings at this hour for residents there. Mauna Loa on Hawaii's Big Island erupting for the first time in 38 years. A thermal camera, look at this, capturing the moment it erupted. Lava pooling in the crater right at the top. Our chief national correspondent, Matt Guppin, with the pictures coming in now. Tonight, new helicopter video capturing Mauna Loa's fiery awakening, erupting for the first time in 38 years. The world's largest active volcano roaring back to life after its longest dormant period on record. You can clearly see that that's lava coming down on the wall. It is nuts. Thermal camera showing the moment it erupted, spewing volcanic gas into the sky and sending lava gushing out from the summit crater. Time lapse video also capturing the blast of ash, debris, and molten rock. Lava streams are flowing down part of the volcano, but authorities say they are not threatening communities directly. But there is concern over falling ash. People with respiratory illnesses warned to stay indoors and anyone going outside told to wear a mask. Shelters being opened as a precaution. You know, we're way overdue. We were way overdue for a eruption. Um, and so we had prepared. Southwest Airlines now canceling several flights to and from the Big Island. Mauna Loa makes up most of the Big Island of Hawaii, and 50 miles down from its summit, it connects with Hawaii's other main volcano, Kilauea. Kilauea's eruption in 2018 destroyed about 700 homes, as we saw firsthand back then. You can see all that lava fountaining here. Now, this is uh, Fisher 17. Some of the fountaining has gone hundreds of feet in the air. What you're seeing over there and those roars are steam and gas flying out of these vents. That stuff is 2,000 degrees. Authorities say lava from today's eruption is contained to the summit area, but alerted communities at potential risk to review their evacuation procedures. David, volcanologists tell me we've likely already seen the worst of the eruptions. It'll likely start to taper off from here. They also say another bit of good news is those eruptions happened in the northeast. That means it would take weeks of continuous gushing for lava to actually reach populated areas or infrastructure. So David. hopefully a lot of time to prepare if anything happens. All right, Matt Gutman on this tonight. Matt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.